Hi yogis, my name is DJ Kim. Welcome to day 18 of our 100 day yoga challenge. Today's session is designed to strengthen your spine and prepare you for deeper, deeper back bends. We'll focus on the shoulders, core muscles, glutes, and back muscles. Many people struggle with back pain, and I know I used to wake up with back pain every morning in the past. I understand how challenging it can be to start a day with such a discomfort. In this session, I will guide you through various drills to help you build a strong back and prepare you for deep back bends. Remember, listen to your body. Don't push yourself too hard. Even if you take it slow and gentle, these drills will eventually lead to a stronger back and help you master the deep back bends you desire. If you have them, grab two yoga blocks or a chair to aid with shoulder opening later in the session. And besides that, nothing. Let's get started. So meet me in a child pose at the back of the mat. Big toes together, knees wide open. And walk your hands forward and forehead on the ground. Just relax, sinking into the mat. Just relax. Just be here and now and take a deep breath in and out. And sinking into the mat. Just melting down into it. Slowly walk your hands further, 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 further. Hips on top of your knees. And forehead on the ground. Puppy pose. Press palms into the mat. Forehead on the ground. If you want to go further, chin on the ground. And chest on the ground. If you want to go further, then... Bring a yoga block and put it your chin on top of yoga block and just let the chest sink. Wherever you are, just stay in the puppy pose for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back, walk your hands up, 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 and table pose. Perfect. Hmm. Bring your knees up. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. This time, protraction of your shoulders. Just like rounded, as rounded as possible. And bring your knees up, hovering above the mat. And then hips up and down. Pulse your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees down on the ground. Relax. We're going to do ten more times. Get yourself ready. Five seconds rest. Ready? Push palms into the harder and protection of shoulders, rounded back, and lift your knees up and pulse your hips ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't put down your knees down. Five. Four, three, two, one. Knees down, comes into kneeling pose. Shake your hands. Just relax into a kneeling pose. Take a deep breath in. And uh, take a deep breath in. And uh, one more time, take a deep breath in. And now, uh, come back to a tabletop pose. And gently move forward, press your palms into the mat. Backwards, rock your body up, forward and back, forward and back. Three more times, three, two, 
always pushing your palms into the mat. One. Fingers pointing towards outside of the mat. Here we go. And then rock your body to the left and right. Five times. One. Two. Projection of shoulders. Shoulders and ears away from each other. Three. Four. Last. Five. Fingers pointing towards you. Here's two. And then rock your body forward and back. One. Two. Gently. Go gently. Okay. Three. Four. Five. Perfect. Come into kneeling pose. Relax. Breathe in. And out. Shake your hands. Do whatever you need, you need to take tension away from you. Relax. Come on top of tabletop pose one more time again. And right hand in the back of your head. As you inhale, open up your chest up and elbow up. And exhale, go further. Inhale. Exhale, go further. Open up, open up your chest to the right side. As you inhale, open up further. Stay there, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Gently come back down. Right hands down. Left hands up in the back of your hand. As you inhale, move up. Open your chest to the left side. Exhale, stay there. Inhale. Exhale, open more to the left side. As you inhale, exhale, open a little more. Stay there five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Gently come back. And come down into kneeling pose. Relax. Take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Take a deep breath in and out. Come onto a tabletop pose one more time. We're going to do cat cow. Little vibe here, a little wave. As you inhale, hips back, arch your back, chest forward. As you inhale, round your back, ripple through the spine and go up forward. And then inhale, hips back, bellies down, chest forward. Exhale. Ripple through the spine. Ten times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, one last time, ten, mm. relax into kneeling pose, take a deep breath in, and out. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Come on to downward facing dog. Pedal your knees. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, Ripple through your spine. And as you exhale, sink down. Tuck your toes under. Come back to exhale. Downward facing dog. As you inhale, ripple through the spine. Come on to upward facing dog. Tuck your toes under. Everything is above the ground, okay? Come back to downward facing dog. Three more. Ripple through the spine. As you exhale, come back to all four facing dog. Exhale, come back to downward facing dog. 
four. One last time, five. Exhale, a four facing dog, inhale. Exhale, hips down and back, tower facing dog. Come back to kneeling pose and child pose. Relax into child pose. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Curl your back and come on to kneeling pose. Perfect. Come back onto a tabletop pose. We're going to do leg lift, but listen carefully. When you lift your leg in the back like this, don't arch your back like this. Always your intention is tuck your tailbone in. So against the legs going up, you are always keep the tugging the tailbone in. So now like this, tailbone in, and then up and down. Five times each. Ready? Tuck your tailbone in. Lift your right leg up. One. Purse. Two. Three, four, five. Tuck your tailbone in. Five. Down. Left leg up. Push your palms into your mat as round as possible. Here we go. Tuck your tailbone in and lift your left leg up. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe down. Come on to a kneeling pose. It's really difficult and challenging is you know more much more difficult than it looks so tuck your tailbone in and going against the, your force to tuck the tailbone in you have to lift the legs up let's go one more time here we go right leg lift your right leg up tuck your tailbone in one two three four five left leg tuck your tailbone in one two three four five this time, bend your knees and then go up. Same thing. Instead of arching back just like this, tuck your tailbone in and then try to lift up your leg as you tuck your tailbone. Keep tucking your tailbone in. Okay, five times. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. And then bring your left hands in the back and grab your knees and pushing into your hands here we go five four three tuck your tailbone in two one come back into a kneeling pose and then try a pose five four three two one come back to tabletop pose left leg tuck your tailbone in and pause. One, two, three, four, five. Bend your knees. One, two, three, four, five. Lift your right arm and grab the ankle and push into right arm. Hold. Five, four, three. Tuck your tailbone in. Two, one. Come back to child pose. Relax. Five, four, three, two, one. Curl your back and gently, slowly walk up into a kneeling pose. Perfect. Meet me at a down dog position, in a down dog position. As you inhale, bend your knee. As you exhale, as if you're jumping, slowly, gently, step forward. As you exhale, hmm, pour forward. Hips down, hips up. Belly on your thigh all the time. Bend your knees, hips down, and hips up. Bend your knees, bend your knees, and up, bend down. Five times. One, two, three, four. Five, perfect, and lie on your back. Now we're moving into a core exercise. This core exercise 
make sure that your lower back is always on the ground. So bring your legs up, right leg down, and left leg down. Always lower back down. Ten times. Ready? Hands, palm pushing downwards. Okay? Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Engage your core. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both legs down. If you get, can go further and then arch your back like this, though, try to pull, always keep your lower back on the ground. So this much is okay. Okay? Ready? Ten times. Ready? Go. One. Push your lower back down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Fist down, five seconds rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend your right knees and extend your left leg and lift your shoulders and head up and then. Left knees as close to as chest, and then hands further down. If this is too difficult, then you can grab gently, light on your hands, and then we're going to hold that position 10 seconds. Ready? Right leg, bend your knees, thigh on your chest, and extend your arm forward 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, I know. Three, two, one, release. Five seconds rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your left knees to the chest. Extend your right legs. Lift up and squeeze, squeeze in. And extend your legs, hands further. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, six, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. You did such a good job. Five seconds rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll yourself. Rock you. Rock your body. Back and forth. Back and forth. And then up. Hands down. Belly on your thigh. Here we go. Grab your elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Put your hands down and comes into plank position. Hold five seconds. Five, four, three, two. One, comes down to Chaturanga, and then just belly on your thigh. Extend your right arm to the right side, and then push through the left palms, and roll up your body, open your chest to the left side. Left, knee, left leg, bend your knees, and here. And this, if this is okay, stay there, and feel the shoulder, right shoulders, if this is okay, extend your left arm, grab your left ankle, and in the back, squeeze and push, push into your left hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release, come back. And this time, left hands, left arm, extend to the left side, and push the right palm into the mat, roll your body, and open your chest to the right side. And this is okay. If stay there, if you want to go further, extend your arm and grab your right ankle and push into your right hands. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, come back. And extend your arm. Just like the forehead on the ground, 
in this exercise the point is always not arching back tuck your toes under tuck your no tuck your tailbone under just like this always maintain this position and then what we're going to do we're going to lift your hands right hands first five times ready slowly gently one two three four five hold five four higher three tire two one let it down left hand tuck your tailbone under extend your legs extend your arm and the left arm lift left arm up one two three four five up stay there hold five higher four higher three higher two higher one release down this time we're going to do the legs right leg first tuck your tailbone under extend your body right leg up one two three tuck your tailbone under four five tuck your tailbone under higher five higher four higher three higher two higher one go down perfect left leg tuck your tailbone under one two three four five hold up higher five four tuck your tailbone under three two one come down relax for five seconds five four three two one we're gonna do both hands both thumbs and both legs at the same time five times five second hold ready tuck your tailbone under ready go one two three four five hold five higher four higher three higher two tuck your tailbone under one slowly goes down really good job everybody perfect five seconds rest five four three two one arms right underneath your shoulders squeeze your shoulder blades in at the back and shoulders away from your ears elbows stay there don't squeeze your elbow elbows stay parallel to each other and then slowly palm pushing down and toward yourself and inward inside go 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 so basically what you are doing is chest forward chest forward as you push down and back four 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 and then gently pushing this way down and forward up 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 this time slowly up 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 perfect top of your feet press down into the ground breathe through the chest five four three two one slowly down if this is difficult you can modify with the spinks so what i mean is that push the elbow down and back so that you can push your chest forward if this is too difficult cobra and always modify to uh, a sphinx and then you can do the same thing exactly now let's one, go one more time the closer your hands to yourself and it gets it get the more difficult it is so adjust to yourself squeeze your shoulder blades in in the back lift up your body upper body chest up and forward push down and backwards and then you can go further then push down and forward and go up 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 perfect five four three press down two one shoulder blades in in the back shoulders away from the ears 
Slowly come back down, slowly come back down, slowly come back down. Interlace your fingers. And tuck the toes under. And push your hips up to a forearm down dog. And slow gently down, forearm plank. Up and down, up and down. Up, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back down. Relax for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to tabletop pose. Come back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, bend your knees as if you're jumping, slowly, gently controlled. Step forward. As you exhale, belly on your thigh. Relax, forward, forward. Grab your elbows together and bounce. One, two, three, four, five. Gently, please. I, I prefer this way. Swing your body, upper body. Gently, because I want to go kind of strongly, but I recommend you to go gently like this. Please, don't push yourself too hard. Hmm. As you inhale, curl your back and gently, gently up, 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 up. Down to standing position. Hmm. Take a deep breath in. And out. Take a deep breath in and out. As you inhale, arms off, mountain pose. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, belly on your thigh, arms beneath your shoulder. As you inhale, halfway up, half lift. As you exhale, go into a plank. As you inhale, stay in a plank position, firm stay, tuck your tailbone in, round it back. As you exhale, go down to Chaturanga and inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your right leg up. Bend your right knees. Stretch. Feel the sensation. Push the palm into the mat as hard as you can. And as you inhale, bring it. And stay here. Three, two, one. Gently let your knees. Right knees right behind your right hands and then come into pigeon pose. If pigeon pose is difficult, your heel close to your groin. Like bring your feet inward into your groin, left groin. And if still difficult, then you can use yoga blocks right here if you want to. So that the point is the aim of this pose is you have to square your hips to the front. You have to even out your hips to the front. So do as you want. You can actually put a blanket under so that you can even out your hips to the front. Here we go. And walk your hands down. Stay here five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Put your hands down. Slowly walk yourself up. Do as much as you can. Don't push yourself hard. If you can walk up to your heel, lengthen your spine and relax into it. And if this is easy, stay there. If it's difficult, stay there. And if it's this easy, then hands back. Perfect. This is okay. And then lift your hands up. And as you exhale, go down slowly. As you inhale, hands up. As you exhale, hands back. As you inhale, this is active pigeon. If this is difficult, you can always modify. Put your hands down. Light on your hands. As if you're not touching the ground, you can always do like this. One. Two, three. When you up, always chest forward. Open up your chest so that you can internal rotation of your left leg so that you your hips 
a square to the front. And then spine, long and nice, nice and long. Perfect. Three more times. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Perfect. Hands down. Elongate your spine. Perfect. And then come back down. Press your palms into the mat. Bring the right leg back into a downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your left leg up. Extend your left leg and bend your left knee. Push your palms into the mat. Stretch. Bring your left knees forward. S stay there. Three, two, one. One, bring your knees right behind your left wrist, right foot, under right leg's groin, groin of the right leg. Or if you're flexible enough, you can actually go further, but that's fine. Here we go. The point is, always we have to square the hips to the front. That's the peace and pause. Here we go. Slowly walk your hands down, elbow down. And stay there for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Here we go. Slowly up, 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 up. As much as you can. Chest forward and up. Lengthen your spine. Square the hips to the ground. Full front. Hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to do the same thing. Active pigeon. Hands up or hands on the ground. Down and up. Okay? Ready? Five times. Ready? Down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Two more. Exhale down. Inhale up. One more time. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Oh. Hands on the ground or on your leg. Extend. Lengthen your spine one more time. Chest up and forward. Hmm. And release. Slowly walk your hands down. Hmm. Push your palms into the ground. Bring your left l legs back. Come back into a downward facing dog. As you inhale, comes into plank position. Stay here. Tuck your tailbone in. Five, four, three, two, one. Go down. Chaturanga slowly. Three, two, one. Relax into it. Bend your right knees and elbow, left elbow, support your upper body and bring your right hands in the back and grab the right feet, right foot inside so that your fingers pointing forward and elbow goes up and here we go. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. As you, you can go as deep as you can and release. Change right elbow down, support your upper body and left hands in the back. Bend your left knees, grab your foot inside, fingers pointing up and forward, and elbow goes up. And here we go push down into your hips. Five, four, three. Two, one. If this is too difficult, you can always grab and just hold. Hold, hold. Release. Perfect. Interlace your fingers and f elbow down. Tuck your toes under and up into a plank position. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, comes into child pose. 
We are almost there. Come, meet me at a downward facing dog. As you inhale, jump. Exhale, four forward. Inhale, lie down on your back. Finally, back bends time. Bridge number one, fit hips width apart, parallel to each other. Bring your hips up. So knees and shoulder, there's a straight line here in alignment with each other. And push feet down and forward. Or you can actually push your nails towards yourself so that you can engage your glutes more. It's your preference. I usually push forward, but if you want to push inwards, that's fine too. Push towards yourself. Five, four, three, two. One, slowly come back down. This time you can interlace your fingers behind your back or walk your feet a little closer and grab your ankles with all fingers stick together, just like this. Either way, let's go up and five seconds hold. Ready? Go up. Squeeze your shoulder blades in, walk your shoulder blades in, chest forward, hips up and high. Five, four, three, two, one. One more seconds. One, slowly, upper back, middle back, and lower back. Perfect. Hands behind your shoulders. If you are limited shoulder flexibility or mobility, fingers pointing outwards. If you are okay with that, fingers towards yourself. Always Listen to your body, okay? Let's move up to a will pose. Push hips up and head up and crown on the ground. And then this time you can actually adjust your hands towards and then back. And then shoulders bring it in and then up. Perfect. And then we're going to do push ups five times. Slowly one, two, three, four. Five, I know it is hard. Stay there. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly down. Upper back, middle back, and lower back. Good job. Very good. <clears throat> Let's do one more time. Five seconds rest. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. This time when you go up, we're going to, as if I'm, I can't touch my head, touch my head with my toes, but try to touch your toe, kick your feet towards your head. Okay? Get yourself ready. Ready? Go up. Crown of your head down. Adjust yourself one more time. Shoulder blades, shoulders in, in, and up. Perfect. And walk your feet close to your head and bring lift your left right foot and touch no i can't touch but one two three four five if you can do this just stay in a world pose that's fine if you cannot do this stay in this position as much as long as you can five more seconds hold five four three two one, slowly go down, upper back, middle back, and lower back. One last time, you're going to go up as a up wheel pose, and then bend your knees, and then we're going to stand up in a camel pose. Let's do it. If you cannot do it, that's fine. Go up in a wheel pose, stay there, stay there, as long as you can. And then if you cannot hold, slowly comes out of it, okay? Let's go. Get yourself ready. One, two, three. Go up. Perfect. And slowly walk your feet towards yourself. And bend your knees and knees on the ground. Bend your left knees on the ground. Walk your hands, hands, hands. And then push, 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 push. And gently comes into kneeling pose. We're done today. Good job, everybody. Go down. If you are in a will pose, come down on your back and rock yourself up and down, up and down. If you come up just like me, 
fall forward, hands on the ground, and everybody, palms facing upwards, arms by the side of your body. Just relax for 30 seconds. Hmm. When it comes to back bends, it's all about warm ups. How much time did you take to prepare your body for the back bends? If you don't, know, if you don't want to get hurt by pre practicing back bends, you need to take lots and lots and lots of time to warm up. Call your back and goes into a kneeling pose. Hmm. Comes on to sitting pose. Palms together at the heart. Be aware of the energy flowing through the spine right now from the tailbone to the crown of your head and it's going up and down, up and down as you inhale and exhale. This is a beautiful feeling, I can tell. With time and practice, dedicated practice, we all can be strong and powerful. May you all be free from pain, especially back pain. Thank you for being with me today. Please carry this positive energy into the rest of your day. And see you next time. Namaste.